Let's call it what it is, folks. Dolph Lundgren career alone makes him reputable, recognizable, and you have to put the respect on his work to acknowledge that if he's in a project, you probably want to check it out. And he was directing it. That's also an extra bonus. So that brings us to his new film, Wanted Man. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today, we're going to be reviewing the new film, Wanted Man, which is available on demand and digital and also may still be in some theaters right now. So, Dolph Lundgren. Listen, his iconic career, obviously, uh, probably his most notable role is Rocky. But, I mean, he has never fallen off. And I think he is so respected in his career as being one of the biggest and best action stars of all time um and, and and even now in his career where he's now writing and directing and also stars wearing multiple hacks i mean listen there's just a level of respect that you got to give this man when he puts out a project now if you have seen some of his previous work you know you have to say either you like it or you don't and in this film i think it follows that same sort of just expectations from his some of his other previous uh on demand and digital work um and granted yes he was just in aquaman the lost kingdom but when i think about you know some of the other films that he was in like the best man but if you also want to go into some of the things that he like previously directed castle falls is one that if you've seen that you kind of should set your expectations in that same path but this film, I think, had a little bit more heart than any of his other previous films that he's directed. Um, and that's because the subject matter is very heavy to a point that I was almost ready to disengage with the film. But the way how it rolls it back in, I thought was done very well. First things first, Dolph's character, Joe Hansen, is an aging detective whose outdated policy methods has given the department a recent public relations problem i'm going to just keep it 100 with you right now there's some police brutality going on and he felt like he was in his right and he's not willing to come off of that and so from a pr aspect because you know we live in the digital era not only is there eyewitness video and also audio of the event it's not it's not a good look for not just him but for the entire department which now, in order to save his job, they sent him to Mexico to um, to basically uh, uh, extradite a female witness uh, of the murder of two DEA agents. So it's like from one extreme to the next. So it's like, okay, if you want to save your reputation, reputation, you want to like make us look better, you gotta gotta do something very dangerous. So listen, the police brutality isn't just police brutality. There's also a heavy racial tone behind the police brutality. So it is very much a hate crime. And with that, if you could paint a picture here, him, his cop buddies, they don't like Mexicans. They don't like anybody but themselves to just keep it 100 here. Um, so he takes that same mindset into everything he does, which means that going into Mexico, he has pretty much nothing nice to say. And I don't mean just being mean. I mean, but also being damn near racist. So there's a lot of that until he encounters this this witness. And, and, and this witness and some things kind of happen. I don't want to give too much away. But she starts to open his eyes up a little bit more for their appreciation. For one, um, just the, mer the, the domestic heritage, the culture, and why some people do have to try to escape Mexico uh, for a better quality of life because, you know, his character is definitely more like build the wall. These people don't belong in our country. They're taking our jobs. I mean, I don't know how else to put it, but like this guy is definitely very pro-Trump in his mindset with everything. But being with this witness is starting to help him turn to a new light and actually gain some knowledge, some respect, some wisdom about why uh, certain immigrants do what they do. Um, and there is a lot of different things kind of going on with that as well, too. 
um you know there's a measure of um an attack both on him because they're aware that he's there um attack on a witness because the witness of what they did there's a lot of there's some backstabbing and and and, and i think there's a moment where he's just so blind to society around him. He's also very blind to his peers around him as well, too. And having uh, this 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 person that is trying to help him turn to a new light is definitely eye opening for him. And 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 then, as I mentioned, it it, it turns him into a direction um, that you know could give him just a very broad but yet better perspective in all of what he does. So, with that being said, it's Dolph. You got to know that there's going to be some good action. Um, some some minor hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's not doing too much on that note. But the bullets are flying. That is always going to be good. You do not have to worry about that. I think the drama was, was definitely very good. The stakes were pretty good. The resolve, I really love. I really love how they ended this film. It's a little bit of an open ending sort of just situation um and and i you know it leaves you to kind of figure out what's to happen next or kind of predict what's going to happen next but i love it because i don't think that there's one definitive answer to how it should play out and there may be a measure of karma but there also may be a measure of empathy you like you just don't know you know um but yeah i think they did a good job in terms of how they handling the overall arc of the characters but also just the plot of the film so i enjoyed this film in a way i did not think i was going to enjoy it i definitely was like it's Dolph. it's going to be heavy action a lot of con hand in hand combat uh the you know the choreography both on the offensive and defensive side definitely showed that but i definitely thought it was going to be heavy on that and not so much within the story and well they surprised me on that note and then as i mentioned too just the themes in this are so heavy Dolph's character is unbearable for about 40 minutes of this film until he meets rosa who's played by christina villa by the way uh, who helps him uh start to um stop being so trumpy <laughs> that's the best way of putting that dear um but anywho with that being said i think this is a no-brainer if you're a fan of Dolph and his work uh, whether he's starring in the film or whether it is his own project, um, you want you want to continue to support him and check this one out. I, I, again, it is on demand and digital, so you set your expectations to that. And as I mentioned, if you've seen his previous films, like you, you sort of get an idea of how the production, the type of money that's involved, should I put it. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still a very uh, quality um uh, piece of film here that you want to check out so anyway check out wonder man folks jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it when you do and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon